Hey guys, so this is the first video in the platformer tutorial series and I'm just going to go over what objects you need to have created for the series and also I'm going to go over what it means to make an object a parent. So first, you want to go to your sprites. Doesn't matter what you make your sprites look like or, or anything, but what you want to have is a wall sprite and a, a player and a slope sprite. On those sprites though, make sure that you check precise collision checking. What that's going to do is just more or less what it says. It's going to allow all of our checks to give these objects a precise mask around them. And you can center it, you can zero zero it. It doesn't, shouldn't matter, but I keep mine at zero zero. And then after you have those sprites, you just just those three, just a wall, player, and a slope. You want to go over to your objects, and first thing you want to make is just an empty object. You name it parent wall. You can name it whatever you want, but that's what mine is. No sprite, no code, no parent. It's just empty. Now this will be your parent wall object. Obviously, we just named it that. So. Create another object, it's going to be your wall. Pretty much the same thing, you're just going to name it your wall. Everything else is going to be empty, but here, make sure that you set your parent to that object parent wall. What that's going to do is anything that happens to this parent wall, any code that you assign to it, any code you put into it, also goes to these other, any of its children, basically. Next, you want to make a slope. Same thing, it's a wall, so parent is that object parent. Then finally, make your player. Don't put any code into it, just keep it empty. It'll look like this, it doesn't have a parent. Then make a room. If you make your room, I kind of go with this type of a look, at least this will be a good demo for most of the things we'll be going over. And what you should have is this. Nothing really happening here, just has all your sprites on the screen. In the next tutorial, we're going to go over how to apply gravity to an object. And consequently, my code also, the gravity will give you vertical collision checking. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to have a tutorial made, say so. Ask in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, any questions, put them in the comments. If you liked the tutorial, just feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. And see you in the next tutorial. We'll get some gravity going.